Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading for your Wednesday, your hump day. <laughs> Uh, Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. Uh, please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 22nd, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you on that day. It, whenever you were guided to resonate, to, to watch this reading, then that is a message for you at that time. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So this isn't necessarily going to resonate for everybody or the whole message isn't going to resonate isn't necessarily going to resonate with you or for you. It absolutely can, but just keep in mind that it's not necessary. It's not necessarily going to, yeah? So we do have happy hour tonight. So as of this moment, the floor is now open. If you would like to get yourself in on the festivities and get a single question reading during happy hour, you can go ahead and follow the link that is in the description box of this video. It is a PayPal link, uh, Divine Conversations. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, paypal.me slash Divine Conversations. There was a lot of confusion last time. Um, if you would like to get this reading, then follow the complete link. It's not going to work if you just put my, my handle in of Divine Conversations. You have to follow the link, paypal.me slash Divine Conversations. Take the whole thing, copy and paste it into your web browser, and use that page to that comes up to um, to, um, to 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 order this reading. Also, keep in mind that I ask that you please, please put your question in the notes section of the payment. Okay, if you look at the very bottom of the page. There is a little bit of a notes section. I will admit it's easy to miss, but you just have to look very carefully. And there you can write your question in that section, okay? Happy hour questions are $25. And I only take 10 questions. There are only 10 spaces available, all right? So if you'd like to get in on it, please go right ahead, send your payment, and I will, and you will be on the list. Yeah. If it's later in the day, like closer to when happy hour is actually starting and you want to like maybe double check to see if there's still space available, go right ahead. But to be quite honest, I would just say to, um, to just send it. Um, and if, if it comes down to, you know, we go over, then that's okay. I mean, I'm only going to do 10, 10, um, 10 readings during the session, but if we have, if we go like one or two over, that's fine. I'm not going to dispute them. I'll still, I'll still honor it. Um, I'll still honor it, but you know, not during the session. I'll have to do it at another time, but I only take 10 for the session. Okay. And this is not encouragement for a bunch of people to start sending us to sending payment. And, and like, I'm like, I would prefer that. Oh my God. I would prefer that we only do 10. I think I just opened a whole can of worms here. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you guys get it. Um, so happy hour is going to start at 6 PM Eastern standard time here on YouTube. But if you do follow me on Instagram, I will be doing a pre-game show on Instagram live where I'm going to be just doing a collective energy check-in for the moment getting bringing forward any messages that spirit has for us just doing a little bit of a fun little check-in on uh, Instagram for the insta fam and if you're not following me on Instagram I highly recommend that you you link up with me at divine underscore conversations yeah those those Instagram live readings tend to be pretty fun pretty awesome um, I might think about doing those more often. Sounds like a good idea, actually. Okay. Anyway, also for happy hour, we're going to be doing, I have a little bit of an unboxing to do. I have one package here from Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Um, I still have your package here. I've been holding on to it because I wanted to open it during an unboxing. So that's going to happen at the very beginning of happy hour here on YouTube. It's only going to be like about 15 minutes or so. And then we're going to get into the collective message. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's it. So let's get into the collective energies today. So as I was channeling for the collective, I was seeing purple quite a bit. And um, it's as if the yellow color that I was picking up on for the collective in the past has given way 
to this this purple color which represents in my opinion as a reader as a as a channeler to me purple represents higher wisdom higher knowledge intuition yes intuitive understanding um and as i was feeling through the energies i just felt like there was there was an aspect of learning um but but moving expressing through the guise of this higher wisdom higher intelligence maybe in even intuitive or psychic um awareness and whatnot and so as i was thinking through that then the three of wands came out here okay so there is an energy right now for the collective of being on your path but taking some sort of action in terms of momentum potentially that has already been generated um, in terms of a choice that was made that you're now moving forward with in a more complete manner i guess you could say for some of you um it's just it's just it's like the yellow color that i was picking up on before was like we were redefining or realigning our will power to that of a higher will power maybe most i would say for the most part the the will of like your higher self who in in to be complete, completely honest your higher self is really the one that's that's in charge of your life right now your ego might think it's running the show but <laughs> no sorry honey it's your higher self okay your higher self and in in that term in terms of that i mean what i mean to say is that your higher self is really orchestrating the happenings of your life your higher self is in control of your spiritual awakening is in control of your destiny is in control of the opportunities that come forward you do have a part in that in the sense that you can either go with the flow or you can resist and there are certain actions that you can take to develop your skills that may accelerate you know your path and 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 the happenings of it but ultimately your higher self is in control and so with that yellow color i was kind of as i was channeling that for such a long time i was like it was feeling like we were realigning our willpower to that of a higher sense of awareness um intelligence i'm hearing caution right now interesting i'm not sure why but um so now it's like we're taking action there three of wands right overall energy is the hanged man with the emperor and the emperor is kind of showing up twice here because i do see this individual in the three of wands as the emperor um ooh, that was interesting i just flipped the emperor upside down but that revealed the four of wands here so yeah there's definitely there's definitely a sense of a higher calling and a strong solid foundation that is allowing you to really move forward in terms of your higher will some things that you may have learned over this cycle of awareness and integrating you know a higher higher calling with your willpower um and especially in the sense that you have on the higher not the higher thought the hanged man here you have these two individuals that were previously being indoctrinated by the hierophant and now they're standing in front of the hanged man saying oh wow there really is a new way to do this this is a change in, there, there's there's more to this than meets the eye there are many there are other ways to see this to handle this to go about this and it's interesting because um when i was you know really just meditating on the message here i was kind of getting a high priestess energy which is re which is representative or of uh, representative of the, uh, the the purple energy um because the high priestess does represent higher wisdom higher calling uh, psychic intuition and what all that stuff um yeah so so with this hanged man energy here it's like these two individuals are now moving forward from the lessons of the hierophant to the lessons of the high priestess and that's something that we've been talking about here and it's funny the high priestess does come before the hierophant the high priestess is number two whereas the hierophant is number five in the major arcana um but the way our world kind of works here and the way things have been going lately we've been really we've been really focusing in the 3d lesson which makes perfect sense we're in a 3d world but we've been focusing on the 3d lesson um that the hierophant has to teach us and then from there we can rise above and it's interesting i actually i want to show you guys this it's interesting because this is the light sea the light seers tarot and i'm going to use this deck to to clarify as we move forward in our in our channeling here i, I love this deck but the hierophant i want to show you guys 
what the Hierophant looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before because it has been coming out lately, but I love the way the Hierophant is um, depicted in this deck, and it's really kind of pertin pertinent to our discussion right now. But so we st we come down into the 3D, we come from the realm of the High Priestess down into the 3D world. Watch it be the very last card in the... No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. Um, we come down from the realm of the High Priestess, right? From the realm of spirit into this three-dimensional world. And that's where we begin the indoctrination process with the Hierophant here. Okay. But I love the way the Hierophant is depicted because of this. Number one, because he's such a, he's smiling. He's happy. It's not so sinister. It's not, <laughs> it's not so like secretive and, and, and whatnot, whatever. But you also have this staircase here. And as we learn these lessons from the Hierophant, we, we, walk up this staircase until we then enter into the realm of the high priestess where we get to really learn more about the i'm hearing things like sacred geometry um the 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 the, the higher wisdom that the universe has to offer rather than just the the lower physically oriented three-dimensional maybe even four-dimensional um, energies or realities that we have been tangoing with for so long, right? So this is good. This is progress, you guys. This really is progress, and it may not necessarily feel like it just yet. For some of you, I I'm picking up that you're feeling like you should be feeling way more different. You should be seeing things way differently than you already do. But this is this is a slow process. This is an integration process. This is something that over time you will start to realize the shift in your perspective it's not, these 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 shifts in this ascension this ascension journey is not always going to be such a stark difference very rare i mean it doesn't it ne doesn't necessarily have to be you know you're it's not going to be such a stark difference from what you experienced in the past versus what you experience now it's normally usually it's going to be very subtle very subtle but it's when you start to recognize those subtleties that then it really starts to hit you like okay now i get what's happening and then you can start to notice all the net all the other subtle differences yes cool i really like this you guys okay so i'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for today well what else we have for today <laughs> Ooh. Well, look at that. The Sun and the Four of Swords just came out with the King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I'm hearing things like things are much brighter than you think. I don't really want to take much of this message. Spirit is kind of like, well, don't read into this too much, but it's really just the Sun and the Four of Swords, I guess. There's, this is still kind of a time to rest. Um, I'm getting for some of you, you need to just allow illumination to happen. It, there really isn't much action to take here right at the moment, especially with this Knight of Pentacles energy right now. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight of the deck. There's still some wisdom that's coming in for you here, King of Wands, especially since it's the side of the King of Wands where he's having this conversation with his dear, dear friend, the wise old snake. Um, there's, so, there's still some illumination that's coming forward for you, maybe some sort of communication some sort of messages that are coming i'm hearing through the ether not necessarily time to take action yet especially with the king of wands the king of wands is an energy of knowing what he wants and oh look there's the king of cups <laughs> knowing what he wants and not um, being afraid to go after it but also knowing when the right time to strike is right okay Alrighty. so Let's get into the rest of the message for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, Spirit saying five shuffles. And as I was doing this, as I was just doing that prayer, I heard higher wisdom is coming down to us. 
and a higher calling is being integrated. That's beautiful. That's, that's really beautiful. This is two. This is three. Yeah, they just keep seeing higher wisdom, higher calling, higher wisdom, higher calling. Mm. Four. You might be, you, okay, well, with the way that they're saying that, you might be feeling like you're in a little bit of an obsessive energy where it's just like you, you just feel this strong urge, this strong drive to really get on your path and really start, you know, doing things, doing more of the things that feed your soul. This is not an energy of like rejecting or, or, um, forsaking anything that is more uh three-dimensional more 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 physically pleasurable or whatnot whatever but it is there is a sense there's a slight sense of urgency here in terms of doing what is right for your soul doing what is right for you getting on your soul path getting on your mission if that's something that resonates with you and and don't don't take my words for just like literal i mean whatever words are just labels but like wh however it resonates for you there's a strong sense of getting in touch or getting in tune with your higher self and then taking action from that from that place okay this is which is a really beautiful thing and even though it does feel like an urgent energy this is five even though it feels like an urgent energy it's not necessarily like a panic and it's not like you're being forced to do something or like you're being you're like you're like even spirit just said you're being coerced um i hope that was five i think it was whatever i'm gonna stop there and i'm gonna shuffle now um <laughs> um but oh hi virgo look the hermit yeah but you see this is perfect this is perfect the hermit with the magician okay so the hermit is representing you going within finding your inner light finding your <laughs> through struggle is what spirit just said okay you know, that makes sense um and then now manifesting something that is much more in alignment to you in terms of what your inner light dictates beautiful okay so let's see what we've got here wednesday january 22nd 2020 We're going to give this one more shuffle. <laughs> okay. This is sufficient. So they say we can stop here. All right. Overall energy is the Ten of Swords. All right. With the Magician at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. All right. Um, and this is really, uh, from what I see here on this side of the magician, it's like you're really, you're facing, you're facing forward, your your future forward, you're facing the future, and you're just like ready to go. Let's do this. The magician's power is running very strongly through you right now, very much as above, so below. I want to bring my spiritual reality into this physical existence and i want to make it very clear very very clear that just because you are bringing some sense of your own spiritual reality into 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 physical existence it absolutely does not have to look like what religion some religious guru or even some spiritual gurus make it out to be i was watching a video yesterday put out by star girl the practical witch um that had the leo king in it that was talking about um you know 2020 is a year where true twin flames are really going to be coming together and it's funny because they 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 listed eight bullet points of how you know that your twin is coming and i hit and i and i was in all eight of them it was it was crazy <laughs> i mean it makes perfect sense but at the same time it was like wow i guess this really is happening <laughs> at least according to their list but one of the things that um david the leo king 
David Palmer is his name, and he's an astrologer. If you guys don't, I'm sure many, most of you that follow me are aware of him, but if you're not aware of him, he's really awesome. You should check him out. He's the Leo King here on YouTube, and he's got his whole high vibe TV go thing going, which is good for him. It's like really going strong. He's been doing this. He's been, he's apparently he's been on YouTube for like 10 years now. Like more power to you, bro. Like <laughs> you, you are an idol. Like you, I very much look up to you, but he was talking about how, um, you know, a lot of spiritual, like the spiritual collective or spiritual gurus, spiritualists, whatnot, whatever, they have kind of forsaken the structure of religion and are created, but are recreating, like basically taking what religion has, the structure that religion has created and is now kind of creating it within the spiritual section, right? And it's really not, if you, you you experiencing your own sense of spirituality is just that your own sense of spirituality i mean you can go to some guru for and some spiritualists and some teachers and some healers to to learn about things but ultimately your form of spiritualism is just that your form of spiritualism it does not have to look like anything else it doesn't have to look like it doesn't have to be structured in a certain way you don't have to make you don't have to do certain practices every day like and i don't even resonate with that like i i, I do still like to study i'm, I'm starting to read this book called the, the tibetan yoga of sleep oh i'm sorry the tibetan yoga of dreams or something like that it's about um you know developing some like a uh, awareness while you're asleep and a lot of the things that you know he says as um i think he's i think he he practices the bone religion but a lot of that structure and all of that stuff that never resonated with me like having a hard structure to just completely devote every like all of my attention to like spiritual awareness and whatnot whatever and practicing like hours and hours throughout the day and not focusing solely on your spiritual like that never never resonated with me i really just want to have fun and yes i want to practice and yes i want to expand but don't get me wrong but i'm not trying to like kill myself over you know what i mean that just none of that never ever ever um, resonated with me so in terms of bringing your spiritual reality into this physical reality, that's gonna look the way, whatever it, way it needs to look for you, period. Okay, that was a long-winded way of saying that, but actually it was kind of necessary. You do have the 10 of swords here also as your overall energy, all right? And and it's, it's I do wanna point out that it's not this side. Oh my God, look, and the hermit. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Look, the hermit is right underneath the 10 of swords with the eight of swords in which is this time where you are, you're becoming free, okay? And your freedom comes from you following your own inner guidance with this hermit energy. But what I wanna say about the 10 of swords is that this is not the side of the card that we have here where someone is like, the sun is being eclipsed and someone is looking over this dead body like, holy shit, what happened here? This did come out yesterday and it felt like you were like, looking back and releasing but now what we have here is this side of the card where it's just like done over and it might be a situation where you are just now reaching the completion of that but that's not necessarily what it feels like what this ten of swords feels like here is like you're done with whatever like the worst is behind you and you've just moved on you're not even focused on it anymore that's why i wanted to point out that it wasn't the other side of the card you're not even focused on the past or any of that right you have the nine of pentacles with the nine of cups here okay so you standing in your independence your autonomy is bringing you some sort of wish fulfillment and what i get with this nine of pentacles nine of cups is you have a direct hand in the in the harvest the the wish fulfillment the reward that you're getting because not only does the nine of cups represent reward and wish fulfillment but the nine of pentacles represents that as well rewards for hard work done well okay and you had is you had your own hand in that completely 100 percent in the nine of pentacles like you built this you see this tower here this tower here you built that tower yourself you see this garden here that's surrounding this woman you built that garden yourself you did the work that was necessary for you to reach this point okay you have the empress with the seven of swords and the eight of cups interesting the seven of swords is here very interesting i don't i, I don't get a really i don't get very i don't get 
much of a bad vibe from this seven of swords. I'm going to be very honest with you. I just feel like you're keeping some things to yourself right now. And actually, that's probably pretty wise. Like you're not really divulging everything. It's not to say that you're not speaking when is necessary or you're not you're not speaking up. You're not. It, and that doesn't mean that you're necessarily afraid to speak your truth or you're really hiding anything, but you're also not divulging everything. Which is a good thing to a certain extent, right? Um, with the with the Empress here, this is still that gestational period type energy that we were that I picked up on yesterday that we were discussing yesterday, right? With the Eight of Cups, this is <laughs> I'm hearing that song, Wishing on a Star. Who sings that? Is that Diana Ross? I don't know who it is, but that's what I just heard, and in in because of that shooting star that's up here. Um, there's a dream that's coming to fruition, and it's a dream that you've held for a long time, or it's a dream that that was realized in you connecting with your inner child that come that came out. Was it yesterday, or maybe it was came out over the weekend, or something like that, or maybe it was Monday actually, because it's Wednesday, Eric. <laughs> um. But that did come out recently where you were walking away from certain things, certain elements of your life that were not in alignment with who you truly are, what it is you truly need, what it is you truly want in life, or what it is that your inner child is looking for or asking for. There has definitely been an energy within the collective lately of reconnecting with the, the innocence of your inner child and living your life from that point of view, okay? And I do feel like with this Seven of Swords also, it's kind of like, especially with this skull here at the very bottom of the card, it's like you're leaving some sort of past behind, you're leaving some sort of battle behind, and you're trying to sneak away. Okay, you probably are trying to sneak away, but I don't get that it's a bad thing. You're just trying to avoid more turmoil, more pain, more drama, more of a battle than you've already experienced. Mm-hmm. Totally. Okay. So let's shift into a little bit of clarification. I do want to look a little deeper into this, however. The Empress, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Last shuffle. Alrighty, kids. So let's see what this, let's look a little deeper into this for you here. Oh, no, I want to shuffle more. I want to, I want to shuffle more. Um, so we're going to look into this energy, the Empress, the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords. I just want to get a little more clarity. I want to understand this. I want to help you guys understand this a little more, especially with the Seven of Swords. There might be something you're kind of unaware of. Hmm. Two of Wands. So there was a decision. I feel like this was a, de a past decision. Yeah, look, there's the Empress again. Ooh, the devil. With some other stuff under it. Okay, we're going to stop there. Two of Cups. The Magician. Okay. All right. The Magician is the overall energy. We have the Two of Cups with the Six of Pentacles, the Devil, yeah, but with the Star, I thought so, the Wheel of Fortune, yep, the Hempers, and the Two of Wands. So, okay, so there is a decision that has been made here. And once that decision was made, it was like the, the, the fertility of the Empress kicked in, was like, you got it, honey, let's make this happen. And it almost feels like the universe was waiting for you to make this decision this whole time. Um... I'm hearing gestational period again. And even that was a little, that, 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 that time frame in which you were choosing, in which you were figuring out what decision to make or which path to go on. That also was a gestational period, but that was like the first phase. Um, and now that the decision has made, now you're about to pop. Like literally you're about to give birth here. Okay. Um, you have the Two of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. So this is, this, we definitely could be talking about a relationship. 
Um, this also could be the mass, the balance of masculine and feminine within. Um, and that, but for the most part, it does feel like it could be that balance of masculine and feminine within, which is allowing you to be more reciprocal or, uh, uh, um, I'm having trouble putting this into words. It's allowing you to to engage more in reciprocity. How about that? Okay. Um, but I also feel like there's an energy of wanting to give back to a relationship, like choosing to be in a relationship with someone and be in it for real and like um, give back what you've received. That's what I heard. Okay. You have the devil with the star and the wheel of fortune. But what I'm getting with this here is that you've you're 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 leaving you're leaving some sort of devilish energy behind um some sort of toxic energy behind you're moving forward in faith of the universe because there is you see that string that she's holding in the star here that's connected to like this big star it's connected to this the star right um i'm hearing a <laughs> supernova okay that's cool um and it might feel like whatever it is you're moving towards whatever you're gravitating towards is almost like a supernova type energy like you you couldn't even believe that it's something that's destined to be in your life or it's meant for you this could be a relationship um but as you release the devil leave the devil behind and move forward in faith you're changing your destiny you're changing your karma you're changing the wheel the, the way the wheel turns for you just please do not be afraid of this devil energy because i really feel like this is you leaving the devil behind leaving some sort of elements of toxicity and whatnot uh codependency even leaving all of that behind and following your heart following the guidance of the universe and this is still an energy that i'm feeling that's very similar to this empress and the two of wands once you made the final decision once you really chose and said yes okay fine spirit this is what i want that's when the empress energy, the, the, the gestational period really kicked in, the fertility really kicked in, and the universe was really like, all right, great, we're going to make this happen to, for you. I was going to say happen to you, but we're going to make this happen for you. Um, and, it's very, and it's a very similar energy here. You are no longer focusing on the fear, on the codependency, on the toxicity. You are now more focused on faith, understanding yourself trusting the universe, trusting yourself, trusting your intuition, trusting the higher guidance, and that is changing everything around you, the wheel of fortune, but it's changing for the better, much better, right? You have the magician here as the overall energy. Yet again, we're talking about taking some sort of conscious action. The magician is here twice, you guys, so far at least, okay? And it's by you taking that conscious action that you put the past to rest. Ten of Swords, right? This is beautiful. Okay, let's look into the Nine of Cups, Pentacles and the Nine of Cups then. Let's see what this has to say. Let me shuffle. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So what could this be? Now I have that song stuck in my head. I'm wishing on a star to follow where you are. I don't know if I sang the right words there, but <laughs> that's funny. And then the star came out. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, one last shuffle here and we'll look at this nine of pentacles and nine of cups. What is this? Let's look a little deeper into this for you. I'm just curious. I want to see what this is for you guys. I'm being nosy. You're right. You're right. I'm being nosy. Oh, well, would you look at that? The Hierophant to the Four of Wands. Holy moly. Oh, beautiful. With the sun as the overall energy. And this really is you dancing in basking in the sunlight, dancing and reveling in the energy of this supernova, I guess is what I'm hearing. But what I'm getting with this is you have made the journey. You have taken the steps. You have been walking up this staircase. And that has led you to the four of wands. That has led you to a sense of union. And this definitely is a sense of inner union for sure for sure but that also could lead to union with someone in the external 
okay? I mean, it's not necessary. And for many of you, that's what is desired. I know that's my situation, but, but it's really not all about that. That's really not as important as you working on yourself and developing a sense of, a deeper sense of who you are. There's just so much satisfaction that's coming from um, the energies from this Hierophant energy. I mean, look at his face. I mean, he's just so joyful and joyous. And yes, okay, that that makes sense. But I'm sure, that's could that could be where I'm I'm picking up on this joyful energy. But it just feels like elation, especially with the Four of Wands, because the Four of Wands is a celebratory energy. All right, it is an energy of like don't necessarily rest on your laurels because there's still work to be done. But you can definitely celebrate now. You've made some really great progress. And that's what I'm feeling here. And so it's not even really about if, let's say, if there is a potential partner coming on down the pipeline that's like literally right around the corner for you. Sure, that's that's cause for celebration. But I really don't even feel like you're really focusing on that so much. You're more focused on the elation, just how good you feel, how far you've come, how solid you feel that you are, you know, because the Four of Wands... Yes, it is a union card. Yes, it's a card of celebration, but also with it being a, a number four, it is a card of, of solid foundation. And that's how I like to describe the four of wands. So like, say you're building a house, you have to lay the foundation first, but then that's cause for celebration. Great. But as you let that, when you lay that foundation, you got to let it settle for a while before you can really start building the rest of the rest of the house before you can start putting the walls in and blah 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 whatnot whatever right so okay so during this time of allowing this foundation to settle in definitely go ahead and celebrate and that's the energy that i'm feeling here you're in this celebratory energy the sun is shining sun is shining weather is sweet you know what i mean like makes you want to move your dancing feet Right? That's that's what I'm feeling here for you. And this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Bask in it. Revel in it. Enjoy it. Allow yourself to feel the peace and the harmony of this. Don't rush into anything. You know, soak this in. You deserve it. You you deserve this time to, to congratulate yourself, to celebrate the progress that you've made. Hmm. That's really awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach growling, but that's happening if you heard it. <laughs> um, okay, so I really, I really want to get a final closing message from Spirit here, and then we're going to... I mean, I don't feel... All right, I was just about to say I don't feel like it's necessary, but Spirit is sitting here saying to me, get a final closing message. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. So we're going to do that. Just closing out this message from the Tarot, uh, from Spirit with the Tarot. And then we're going to get our Oracle Guidance. And that feels like it's coming from the Sacred Rebels today. Cool. All right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle. All right, and let's see what we've got. Final closing message, please, Spirit. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oof. Overall energy is the Ace of Wands. Good. Now we do have a little, we have some trouble here. We have the Five of Wands, we have the Five of Pentacles, but we have the Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. So. Someone's looking to make an offer here. I just heard an offer that you cannot refuse. And that and that's not if that's not coming from a place of like this devil energy here of like coercion or like strife or or whatnot, whatever. No. It's an offer that you cannot refuse because it's an offer that you really want to take. 
also an offer that you may really want to give to someone, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. It's a higher calling. It is an offer or it's a new start, right? This doesn't have to necessarily be an offer. It's for some of you or for many of us, it is an offer. But for others of you, it's just a new opportunity. It's a new start in life. I'm hearing a new lease on life. It has a higher purpose behind it. You need to remember that. Someone here is caught up in energies of strife, is caught up in energies of inner conflict, maybe external conflict. There may still be energies of thinking, oh God, what are people going to think or blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. There are still energies of, I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Like this, is this really, is this really what I'm meant to be doing? Like, I mean, I want it, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm just, I'm just not sure spirit what, what's going on here, but you need to just, you need to just believe you need to persevere. This is something that you've been working very hard towards seven of pentacles okay nine seven of pentacles and the nine of wands okay you've been working very very hard for this you deserve this don't let your fear stop you that was the message from monday was it no it was the message over the weekend don't let your fears stop you there's also an energy of the nine of wands here there is an energy of needing to hold firm boundaries you're at, you're almost there guys you are almost there you have the eight of wands here so there could be some sort of communication or something could just start could just show up or happen very quickly but you need to persevere all right Re keep in mind wh why wh keep your harvest come on come on focus you piece of poo thank you keep your keep your harvest in mind Okay, you planted these seeds for a reason. You're moving in this direction for a reason. Don't falter. Don't falter now, baby. Stand up. Stand up. It's a Basement Jacks rep uh, uh, reference. What, what album was that? Was it Crazy Itch Radio? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Those of you that are Basement Jacks fans will will recognize that. It, it really doesn't even matter. But that was the message. Don't falter. Don't stop now. Okay? You're almost there. You are so close. You are on the precipice. Don't stop now. Don't allow this energy to creep back in because you've been doing so much work to get out of this to begin with. Don't let it back in now. Okay? This, whatever it is you're moving towards, whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, whether it's a new job, a new career, a new physical representation of your life, making an offer to someone, um, I'm hearing potentially an offer of love, whatnot, whatever, like making an offer of commitment, whether that is in love or like a new job or whatnot, a, a new career or whatever, whatever this is, it has a higher calling to it. There is a higher meaning to it. Okay, so some of you might be in an energy of, well, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just doing this, or maybe I'm just going forward with this because uh, this is what my ego wants, and I'm just being egoic. No, no, there is a higher calling. There's a higher purpose to this. All right, and this is why you are inspired in this way. Ace of Wands. Yes. Excellent. 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 <laughs> Sacred Rebels for our Oracle Guidance today. Ooh. All right. Oracle Guidance for the Collective, please, Spirit. To close out our message for today, Wednesday, January 22nd. 2020. Last shuffle here. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. There's two of them. Oh boy. This is going to be long, guys, because these are the Sacred Rebels deck can be really long in their definition. So I actually might want to skim them, but there are two. So I'm going to take them. You have card number 43, Come to Life, and card number 18, Spirals of Manifestation. I want to start with uh, 18. Yeah, guys, this is going to be a little bit of a longer oracle section today. Oh, no, this is actually fairly short. I do know coming to Come to Life is actually a little bit of a longer one, but that's okay. We'll start here. Spirals of Manifestation. The creative, rebellious path of love moves in spirals. It is not linear. 
Sometimes our mind decides that the way forward is to take clear steps from one point on the next logic. Oh, I'm sorry, from one point to the next logical point. However, there is a genius within that can guide us on an alternative route. If there is an unnecessary pothole or delay in the typical linear path of progression and a curved loop in the path will be quicker, more fun, and more beautiful, then why not allow yourself to be guided to that path? This can happen through trust and wisdom rather than rigid adherence to what on the surface appears to be logical progression. You are in the midst of a spiral of manifestation. Something is coming into being, even if you think it is further away than ever before. How amazing it will seem when what you have been dreaming of falls into place. Suddenly, what you have been thinking of creating will plonk into your reality, seemingly out of nowhere, because it is just around the bend, just out of view of the spiral of manifestation, and you could not see it coming. In truth, it was coming to you all along. Oop, I just saw that at that moment, 44, 44 on the counter. I know that's right. This oracle has a message for you. Sometimes when we feel the furthest away from what we want, we are actually getting closer than, before, than ever before. Just one turn on the spiral loop of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your progress. Forget about believing, in, believing it when you are seeing it. Any old soul or young soul can do that. You are bigger, braver, more I'm sorry, you are a bigger, braver, more ancient soul. You have enough chutzpah to believe it so that you can see it sooner, bigger, and brighter. You do not, you do not have, you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Do not give in to those who tell you it should happen, it should have happened already, or that you have failed. <clears throat> they are just suffering from a lack of patience and understanding, as well as an arrogant assumption that their notion of timing is somehow superior to the greater divine timing at play in life. Be in goodwill with yourself and the universe. All is unfolding perfectly, whether you feel it right now or not. This oracle also brings a message to you about the perfect synchronicities that are taking place in your life. You may have started to notice these already. When we live from the heart, honor our creative center, and choose unlikely but lovingly rebellious ways to be in the world, we will begin to notice synchronicity every day. It is as though the universe is speaking to us intimately on all matters, which, of course, it is. This oracle reminds you that there is no point rushing to the bus stop. If you are way too early, you are just wasting your time. Better to live your life at a more appropriate pace and get there at the right time. You don't need the anxiety that comes from rushing towards your destiny. Try not to worry quite so much about the future. You will attract what you want and need so much more enjoyably if you relax and deal with it when deal with the here and now. Remember too that your life path is unfolding in harmony with the paths of others. You will meet with each other for the greatest benefits when you trust in the flow of the great of the one great creative spiral upon which this galaxy spins. Everything is ultimately in harmony with everything else to fulfill the great big creative intent of the supreme creative force of love. You are included in that. Lucky. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. So now let's, <clears throat> let's read Come to Life, number 43. Already. Yeah, this one, this one is, this one's a bit longer. Maybe we'll skim it. Maybe we won't. We'll see what happens. You are the most sacred of all sacred artworks. You are bringing yourself to life now, and this is how it must be. Of course, something being essential doesn't mean it will always be easy. You must support yourself and have courage during this process. Your monkey mind is not to run the show. It might have a lot to say, and at times it seems very convincing, but it is not the one in charge. Your mind can inspire you with ideas. However, it is the real you that speaks through your rebellious, sacred heart and is living your life, not the monkey mind. 
The mind is not much more than a swirling cacophony of habitual reactions. Beneath habitual thoughts, there is a deep, sensual, creative, and energetic awakening happening to you. It is so far beyond what the mind is now capable of controlling. Others might not like it because it shakes things up. Coming to life tends to do that. However, it is happening now, and the only real choice you have is to make uh, you have to make is how to deal with it. Coming to life means feeling. It might bring joy, but it could equally bring sadness, rage, or fear. It could bring all of these and more. Feelings will come and go quite swiftly when allowed to flow. You might need to paint, write, enact ritual, sing, or dance your feelings to help the energy flow. Don't hold back. Create the space for yourself to do it. It is, I'm sorry, in this process, you are uncovering the artistry of the universal creator. You are honoring the sacredness of life by exploring it without restraint, and that includes the flow of your feelings. You don't have to do anything with them other than express. You may want to analyze, or you may not. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are getting in touch with feeling. Learning how to access your feelings allows you to learn how to access your intuition, creative inspiration, and genuine internal guidance. These aspects flow from the same place and are often couched within your feelings in the form of emotions as well as physical sensations. The journey underneath the mind and into a sensual, emotional connection with your feelings, emotions, and body is for a sacred purpose. It is a part of your path. You are one of the sacred but powerful minority that have chosen to come into a body and live consciously within it. That may seem like it applies to everybody, but when you experience it for yourself, you will realize that this is actually rather rare. There are plenty of bodies without a spirit really residing within to care for, love, and honor them as a sacred animal. Fortunately, this minority is powerful enough that it can keep human culture in balance. But only just, excuse me, but only just. We need every single one of us that is capable to be aware of the task and move beyond the mind and into the body. This is especially so if you have drawn a, beyond the mind the heart beats, which we haven't. To come to, into your sensuality, you will need to anchor your experiences. You may be blessed with relationships that are conscious enough to be interested in your journey in a constructive rather than controlling or undermining way. If so, talk, converse, share. If not, then you will need to be more resourceful in how you support yourself through your awakening process, at least until you attract some more conscious connections into your life. It is likely that these connections are already on their way just because you are working with the energy of this oracle deck. Yes, I would say so. This is especially so if you have also drawn conscious connections which, or this other card, which we haven't drawn. <laughs> Um, you can support your own process by scheduling time for yourself and keeping to it like you would the most important date with destiny. So get to writing in your journal, do your dances, paint your pictures, create your creations, be kind to your body, listen to it and let it be alive. Even in times of pain, know that there will also be ecstasy and bliss as the process of healing and awakening continues. This message, I'm sorry, the message of this oracle is be alive. Don't imagine you can go back to sleep. You are too awake for that now. There is no falling back into old ways. If you do so, it will be short-lived and you won't feel the same as it used to. I'm sorry, and it, it, it will be short-lived and won't feel the same as it used to. You may grieve this. You will hold certainty, certainly I'm, wow, I'm having so much trouble right now. <laughs> you will certainly, eventually, celebrate it. You have crossed the threshold from an old way of being into an old, uh, of, wow, Eric. You have crossed the threshold from an old way of being in an old life, and try as you might, you cannot return. It is better to let it go. Grieve if need be, celebrate if need be, or do both and move on into this moment. There is another adventure waiting you, awaiting you. 
You need a deeper connection to your own instincts, body, feelings, and intuitions so that you can receive this new calling. You can trust in it too. Embrace it and it will embrace you. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I look forward to seeing all of you guys for happy hour tonight. Again, if you would like to get in on that, you can use the link in the description box below of in this video, uh, paypal.me slash divine conversations. Two things, keep in mind. One, you have to use the whole link. You cannot just go to paypal.com slash divine conversation, but no, no, no. Use the link in the description box. Also, keep in mind that I ask that you please, please, please put your question in the notes section of the reading or of the, um, of the, of the payment so that I have your question ready to go when we're doing the readings. Yes? Okay. I love you guys so much. And if I don't see you tonight, um, then I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Either way, that's, I look forward to that too. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Talk to you soon. I love you. Bye.